Hey everyone, Rick Brown here. As you can see, I'm in front of the Scots, the hood's up, no problems with it. But I got an idea for this. Um, I, just want, I just want a second opinion on the idea. Since I'm going to have a uh, few extra V-twins sitting around, I'm thinking about doing a V-twin upgrade on this tractor. It should fit in here. And uh, like I was saying before, this tractor should have had a bigger engine than a 12.5 uh, to begin with. Right now it's got a 12 horse exactly. But um, really from the factory, these should have came with a 16 horse. So if you think about it, you got a six speed transmission, you got a 40 inch deck spinning two blades. It's a lot for a tractor to do with just a 12 horse. So I'm thinking about doing a uh, 20 horse V-twin in here. I got all the conversion cables, primarily just the throttle cable. I got that uh, when I picked up the uh, one of the engines I just picked up recently. Um, so I got the cable, got the choke cable. This already has a choke cable on it, so I'll just replace that one with the longer one. I think it will fit. I'm near positive a V-twin will fit in here. I know you could either get these with an opposed twin, or I've seen these with an opposed twin before. So a V-twin's uh, actually a little bit smaller than an opposed twin, believe it or not. The um, the front of the opposed twins actually sit higher than the front of the uh, V-twins. I've actually measured them, and I've done a side-by-side -side comparison. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on video, but I have done a side-by-side -side comparison of a V-twin and an opposed twin. So I'm thinking one of those V-twins should actually fit in here. I also still have the wiring. Uh, it's, the, it's one of these ones. I believe it's this one right here. Um, I just ran it up into here and just taped it up. I believe that's what I did. Yeah, it's just taped right here. It's a single wire right here, and it comes out to two right here because I had the plug. But, and I had this plug right here. Basically, one's a constant feed, and one's a kill. So, and the engine I'm thinking about putting in here also has the idiot light for the oil pressure, which I do believe I have an extra spot up here to put an idiot light in. So, I'm just thinking it will actually bring this tractor up to the next level and might help sell this tractor in the spring. I'm thinking, unless it sells beforehand. But I might just uh, pull the ad and uh, wait till the spring, park it, maybe put the engine in. I can even put the engine in. It'd be about a day job to do it. Um, not even a couple hours. But with any issues, and the way I work is we stop halfway through everything and we go for a walk and uh, take breaks. So, But um, we'll see. That's just an idea. I just want to throw it out there, see what, see what people think about that idea. Uh, I guess basically a second opinion. Emily wanted to be in the video with Shania. There they are. Shania's actually being fairly good today. She's getting better. Heck, she's uh, two years and five months, so she better be getting better. So, um, also I figured out how these gas tanks come out finally from taking apart the Craftsman. They're actually quite easy. If I would have known that before when I was monkeying around with that 17 horse, I would have just pulled the gas tank out and instead of always unbolting the engine. But uh, I thought they were a lot harder, but... It's actually just uh, three bolts on each side, and they come out. And this wire here, I believe, is for the uh, hour meter. It's hanging down. Tuck that back up eventually. But um, everyone, tell me what you think. V-twin swap on a tractor that originally only had a 12.5, went up to a 20 horse. I think it would actually be pretty good for this. I'm not going to change the pulley ratios or nothing like that. Just the engine and... Uh, this is standard, uh, standard exhaust for a 20 horse. So I'll talk to him later. Please keep it right neck like always, and uh, please try and comment.